Knox Basketball is the largest association in the country. We have 7,500 kids playing basketball uh, every weekend. Uh, we have 4,500 senior domestic players playing. So we're involved in the community a lot. So for the community, but, you know, we, we offer a lot of programs. We're involved in Indigenous programs. You know, we, we do charities all the time. That's all our focus is, is community. So we probably get about five or 600 new kids every year. You know, we've grown, I suppose, over the last five years from, you know, having 8,000 members up to 11,000 members. So it gives you an idea of, you know, the growth each year. We're forecasting that by 2025, that we'll hope to have about 15,000 members. COVID was really hard. Uh, we lost a lot of revenue during that period. We wouldn't have survived, really, without the help of Knox City Council. They were, have been tremendous with us over the last you know, 12 months and beyond. So it was really you know, the relationship that we've built with our local council, Knox City Council, that has helped us through. When we were shut down with COVID, you know, it's not an essential service, so the kids weren't able to play. Our athletes for the NBL1 um, weren't considered elite, so they weren't able to train. So we ran a lot of um, uh, mental health programs, you know, online um, through the SALT program. And we found that, you know, that was a really good way to boost up the kids' mental, you know, well-being. And just kept the focus on coming back to basketball. So seeing them transition from that back into the stadiums, playing basketball, you, you could see that that was really good for their, their, for their well-being. We actually meet regularly with other sports, so netball, um, and, and, and football, so you know our focus here is to, yeah, obviously we want them to play basketball, but not only that, you know, we realise that they, they want to play football and other sports, cricket, netball, so so we actually foster that by, you know, setting the appropriate training time so they can do both. Basketball is supposed to be fun, and you know, when COVID hit, you know, the kids were unable to do that. So you know, when when we came back after COVID. Um, you know, the happy faces coming through the place was the best thing that, you know, that we could all ask for.